Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back with another reading. Today's reading is a literal pick a card because you're going to be choosing one of these four cards and I will go through them and show them to you in a moment. Um, but first I just want to say my voice is a little bit funky this morning. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. So <clears throat> just bear with me on that. And um, I have a new camera coming. Okay, it's supposed to get here tomorrow. Today is Sunday when I'm filming this. It's supposed to get here tomorrow on Monday. So hopefully this will be the last video that I do on this camera with this camera mic set up. Um, <clears throat> I know it's they're, they're not the best quality. Um, so hopefully um, from now on my videos will look and sound much better. All right. Um, so I'm going to show you these cards really quickly. Um, for the uh, group one, we've got New Moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. For group two, we have The Energy is Gaining Momentum, Waxing Moon. This is probably one of my favorite cards in this deck. This is the Moonology Oracle. I just think it's so pretty and... Um, I love the message. Um, group three is you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer. And for group four, we have new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. All right, so those are going to be your options today. Um, I love how much purple we have in these cards. Um, purple is one of my favorite colors, and... To me, it's a very magical color. It represents, you know, <clears throat> power and love, and I just get such such good vibes from <laughs> the color purple. Um, so yeah, and uh, I did not personally choose these cards. Um, these are cards that Spirit chose for us to use. So I just thought it was interesting that we got so so many purples that came out. <clears throat> All right, you guys. So, as you know from the title, this is um, should you make the first move or should you wait for your person? And um, this was a requested reading. This was second place in the poll that I did. So, here it is. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, group number one, okay? All right, group one, if you chose the New Moon and Libra card, a new romantic cycle begins. Should you make the first move or should you wait for your person to make the first move? Um, so I want to start with these Oracle cards here. These cards are the overall energy of your situation. Um, we have Flirt, we have Very Soon, we have Deception, and we have the Retreat cards. So I'm sensing that... You may or may not be in contact with this person right now, but whatever the case is, somebody has retreated away. Um, I feel like somebody is being distant. Um, <clears throat> and there could have been some deception involved. There could have been some secrets that were being kept from one or the other of you. I don't know um, if it was them who was being deceptive or if it was you, it could be either, it could be both. Um, but we do have the flirt card, so I feel like there's, somebody's been doing some healing, okay? Um, somebody has been working on lightening their energy, and we also have very soon. So I feel like whatever this situation is, um, it's on the right track to improve in the near future, okay? Um, this card says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, you guys, obviously, you're here because you don't know if you should reach out to them or if you should wait. And um, that indecision is what is, you know, keeping the situation on hold. Um, so you need to decide uh, if you're going to actually do something, if you're going to make a move. And I feel like the cards are saying that 
um, yeah, you should if you want to, because down here we have the Be Assertive card. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. And we also have, so I have six tarot cards here. The first three are basically what would happen if you reached out first, if you made the first move. And the second three cards are <clears throat> what would happen if you waited for them to make the first move. So on your side, we have the Hierophant, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Nine of Swords. So Eight of Wands is a card that's about communication. It's about news. Um, so I feel like things would actually start changing pretty quickly if you made the first move. And we have the Hierophant. So... If this is like a romantic situation, if this is like a love interest, you could, this could um, set you on the path to something more committed, something more stable. And with this Nine of Swords, I feel like, you know what, I actually want to get a clarifier for the Nine of Swords. We have the Emperor card. The Emperor card is another card that's about stability. We've got the Moon card, and we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so, all right. So the Moon card is another one that's about something being hidden. So I definitely feel like if you were to reach out to this person, there would be some... Some things that would come to light um, that were being kept in the dark, that have been kept in the dark. Um, and maybe that's where this Nine of Swords energy is coming in because this card is about anxiety, all right? Um, so one or the other of you could have a lot of anxiety pertaining to um, revealing some type of truth, okay? <clears throat> But with this Four of Wands and the Emperor and the Hierophant, I do think that it would put you on the path to something committed, something really stable with this person. Now, if you waited for them to reach out, on their side, we've got the Hermit card, we have the Queen of, Wands, Queen of Swords, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So, with the Six of Pentacles, I do feel like they would reach out to you eventually, um, because for me, this card speaks a lot about communication. However, with the Hermit card, I think that it would take uh, quite some time. I don't think that they would be very quick about it um, because, you know, the Hermit is somebody who is, you know, distanced, who is taking time to themselves. And um, I guess it's this person who is in retreat right now. Um, and then with the Queen of Swords, this card is... Again, the swords are about communication, but um, and and they're about truth and clarity. But the Queen of Swords is kind of uh, she's a little bit of an icy person. She's got uh, kind of a sharp tongue. So if you waited around for this person to reach out first, they might be a little bit. I don't know. I almost get the feeling that they might be a little bit upset with you. They might be a little bit. A little passive aggressive that's a good word <laughs> so if you want to move things forward with this person I think that you should definitely make the first move because I almost feel like they're waiting on you all right there you guys are both waiting and it's like it's a waiting game they're waiting on you and you're waiting on them and I think that if you want to you should just go ahead and do it we've got if you believe so I mean, if this is something that you believe in, if this is a connection you believe in, then just be assertive and just just go get it, okay? Um, all right, group number one, that's your reading. I'm going to end it there. I wanted to uh, keep, these, keep these ratings kind of short, okay? Um, so, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if this reading um, resonated with you. And um, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. And I think we're going to move on now to uh, group number two. 
All right, group two. If you chose the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon card, this is your reading. Should you wait? Should you make the first move? So, right away, I definitely feel like there is... Something has happened between you two in the past that needs to be resolved because we have the Peaceful Resolution card and then on the other end here we have the Forgiveness card. So something that needs to be fixed. Um, somebody did something in this, in this connection. Somebody has done something that I feel like you're... I feel like you guys probably don't talk very much, if at all, these days. Um, and obviously, obviously somebody wants to change that, you know, but, um, you're probably wondering, you know, should I reach out to them and try to apologize or get an apology out of them, or should I wait for them to be ready? Um, the, we have here, the, um, don't stop. So this card, whenever I see this card, it's like, it tells me um, that whatever you're doing right now, you should keep doing it. Um, so if, you're, if you've been waiting, um, I think you should keep waiting. <laughs> okay, um, we also have the Helpful People card, so I think that you would benefit a lot from... doing other things to occupy your time, to occupy your thoughts, like spend more time with other people in your life because I get the sense that you are spending a lot of time thinking about this situation. Um, and I think that's because you know that the two of you have a lot of potential together. We've got the Empress card and we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek, so you know, you recognize that there's something special about this connection and it bothers you that whatever happened, happened. It bothers you that you're not on good terms. It bothers you that you're not talking. So, these tarot cards here, the first three are your energy. Um, this is what would happen if you reached out first, and then these three cards are their energy. This is what would happen if you waited for them. So for you, on your side, we have the High Priestess, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Devil card. So, I mean, long story short, I don't think that there would be a very good outcome if you made the first move here. With the Five of Cups, this card talks about grief, sadness, loss. Um, and then the Devil card, I mean, you know, sometimes this card is not always negative, um, but I think in this case it would be. I feel like there would be, um, <clears throat> I feel like there would be arguments that would ensue. And with the High Priestess, it's like, I feel like you're you're not really talking to each other for a reason. Like, there's a reason that the universe is kind of keeping you separated right now. Okay? Um, and it's because I don't think the other person is ready yet to make amends, to start over. If you were to wait for them to make the first move, we have here the Eight of Wands. So this is a card about communication. This is a card about news, change, action. This is a really good card. It's probably one of my favorite tarot cards. Um, so they would contact you eventually. They would reach out eventually. Um, and then we have we have the King of Wands. So I feel like this would be their energy once they become ready to come to reach back out towards you. Um, they're not ready right now. Like I said, they're trying to get into this King of Wands energy. Um, King of Wands is very... He's he's kind of tough. He's pretty he's pretty masculine. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't matter if this is a ma male or female. Um, gender is irrelevant. Uh, but he's he can hold his own and he's independent and he feels good about himself and the world in general, and that's, 
that's what they're trying to do. Like, that's the energy they're trying to get back into because I feel like whatever happened, it, it kind of got them messed up. And we also have the Page of Cups. So definitely, I think if you were to wait for them, they would eventually make you an offer. All right, they would they would contact you and they would make you an offer. All right, so group number two, that's your reading. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I wanted to keep these readings kind of short, pretty straight to the point. So I think I am succeeding so far. Um, so yeah, group number two, that's your reading. If it resonated with you, let me know. I love to read you guys' comments. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We're going to move on now to group number three. Okay, group three, if you chose New Moon and Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. Here's your reading. Should you make the first move or should you wait? So right away, I feel like somebody in this situation, um, somebody messed up. And I feel like it was the person you're dealing with because, well, I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> um so these four oracle cards here are um, the overall energy of the connection right now. And we have some really beautiful cards here. We have the hope card, we have freedom, we have beauty, and we have peace. So beauty was right here, freedom, hope. So I feel like you are very hopeful about the situation. I feel like both of you feel very hopeful about the situation. Uh, my camera's out of focus. Give me one moment. Okay. Um, so yeah, I feel like both of you are very hopeful about this situation. Um, I just heard you find freedom in each other. I I don't know if that <laughs> uh, means anything to you, but uh, maybe it does for some of you. And I also feel like the connection that you have with each other is very beautiful. It is like... It's something that you... It's something different. It's like... It's not something that you have with very many people in your lifetime. I feel like it's very unique. And like I said, I feel as if something happened. Um, you may not be in contact right now. You might. Uh, I get the feeling that you're, the person you're dealing with has moved away from you. Um, and I think it's because they did something that they really regret. And there's a lot of shame they have a lot of shame. Um, but I feel like you are at peace with that. I feel like you're not worried about that anymore. Um, and you're just hoping and praying that they will come back around. Because you miss them and they miss you. But it's like they're still, they're still kind of bound by, you know, their regret and their guilt and their shame and embarrassment and they just have a lot of feelings <laughs> and um, they don't feel ready. But um, if you were to wait for them to make a, the first move, I think that they are in the process of finding the strength to move on from these feelings that they're having of regret. This is the Five of Swords. They're finding the strength to overcome those feelings and come back towards you um, with confidence, okay? Because we have two knights. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. Um, Knight of Wands is you know, very energetic, he's very fiery, very passionate, um, he has a lot of feelings, a lot of very strong feelings, um, and then the Knight of Cups is very romantic, he has a lot of, his feelings run very deep, um, whereas the Knight of Wands, he can burn out after a while, the Knight of Cups is much more enduring, so it's like, they have, their feelings for you are, are like, they go both ways. It's like 
they they do have a lot of um, passion towards you, but th- also their emotions run very deep and they're very strong. So it's not something that is going to burn out after a while. It's something that will be enduring, that, that is enduring. Okay. So that's what that's what would happen if you were to wait for them. I think they would absolutely come towards you and make you some offers. Okay. If you made the first move, um, I think... We got the Knight of Pentacles here. So they if if you made the first move, I feel like you might feel inclined to make them some type of offer. Um but I feel like they would probably reject it or they would end up ghosting you or something because we've got the 4 of cups. So 4 of cups is like 4 of cups is like rejection. It's um it's uncertainty. I feel like they would not be sure about it because it would be coming too soon. Um, like I said, they're still not ready. They still feel bad about whatever it is that they did to you. Um, even though I think that you're at peace with it, you've moved on from it, you don't care about it anymore, you've forgiven them. Um, but I think that if you made the first move, it would be very tower-like. Um, I think it would kind of sh- shake them a little bit. And I feel like it would put their growth back even further. Because I feel like if you've, if you've tried reaching out to them already, already, and it hasn't worked out, like... You know, you talk for a little while and things seem okay, but then they kind of, you know, go back into their little cave and hide away again. Um, it's because they're still not, they still haven't, they still haven't recovered from, they still haven't forgiven themselves for whatever happened, for whatever they did. Um, and the only way that anything is going to work out between you is they have to learn They have to move on from it themselves. Okay. They have to do a little bit more growing and they have to understand that, you know, it was, it's, it's done and it's over and you, you don't care. Nobody cares anymore. Okay. Um, down here we've got, um, no need to worry and we have perfect timing. So again, there is a sense of timing being off. You need to wait for the right time. And this person knows, will know when the right time comes because they will be ready. All right. So, um, don't worry about it in the meantime. That's basically, um, the gist of this message. Don't worry about it. This connection is safe. Okay. Whoa. It's not going to go anywhere. This person will come back. This person. Uh, does definitely care about you very deeply, so. You have nothing to worry about, group three. Just, if you want to wait for them, keep on waiting for them. Just wait. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to end your reading right there, group three. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I love to read your comments. Um, Thank you so much for watching, and we're going to move on to group number four now. All right, group number four, if you chose new moon in Aquarius, bring love into this situation. Should you wait? Should you make the first move or not? So um, you guys, of course, had to be a little bit difficult. Um, all the other readings were, the answer was pretty cut and dry, um, but you guys, not so much. So, um, these cards up here, these four, are the overall energy of the connection that you're in. We have flirt, we have true love, we have passion, we have make the effort. So, definitely, I feel a lot of attraction between you and this person. Um, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of feelings here. Um, I feel like, I feel like you care about each other a lot, um, and you're both wanting to make an effort, um, 
But I get the sense that you guys are kind of in a stalemate. You're both waiting for the other person to do something. You're both... I feel like you're both unsure of it, how the other person actually feels, even though you feel the exact same way about each other. So, for... What would happen if you made the first move? We've got the Knight of Cups, we've got the Page of Wands, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, this is interesting. Um... Nine of Pentacles, for me, talks about independence. Um, it talks about confidence, though. So, I feel like you could start something... Um, how do I want to say this? If you, made, if you made a move towards them, you would have to approach them with a great deal of confidence, okay? Um... And then we also have Page of Wands. Pages are messengers. Wands are fiery, passionate energy. Um, and then Knight of Cups, of course, is um, us a lot of times talking about a love offer. So, um, I do think that if you approached them first, they, and, and you made them an offer, they would most likely accept, and you would be able to start something new with them, okay? Um, but, like I said, the key would be approaching them with confidence. Now, if you waited for them to come towards you, we have the Lover's card, we have the Six of Swords, and we have the Death card, the Santa Muerte. So, I feel like... So, with this card, it would be like something ending and something new beginning. So I'm not totally sure what that's talking about. And then Six of Swords, this card talks about coming back together, or coming together, um, coming towards one another in a stable, calm kind of way. And then the Lover's card, you know, this talks about love. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. Um... But this card can also be about choices. So, you know what? This person might actually be involved with somebody else right now. And they are... In order to come towards you, the reason they haven't made a move towards you is because they're still trying to end it with this person, with this other person. Interesting. Because the lover's card can be about choices, it can be about having, it can be about there being a third party involved. Um, and then that would make sense with the death card, you know, an old relationship ending so that this new one can begin. So that's interesting. But you know what? Um, Like I said, I feel like you guys are both unsure of exactly how the other person feels about you. So you might not realize just how how many just how strong their feelings for you are and they don't know how strong your feelings for them are. So that's why they haven't like broken it off with whoever else they're involved with because they don't know. They don't under they just, they just don't know the extent of how you feel about them. And if you made a move on them, I feel like it would prompt them to, you know, have this this death of this old thing so that you guys can start something new together, so that you can come together, because I definitely think that they would choose you if they were given the opportunity. Alright? So... I mean, I think if you waited, I feel like they would come towards you eventually with this Six of Swords, but it would take longer to happen. And, I mean... So, like, if you're ready now, I mean, I would just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just get the ball rolling. I feel like you've been waiting around long enough. Um, and we have... Within the next few months, so... I mean... I think if you waited, they would come around within the next few months. They would make a move. But, I mean, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't try to get the ball rolling sooner than that. Um, we also have ask for help from others. So, you might want to, if you know, 
if you have like mutual friends or people in common that you know, um, you might want to do a little bit of digging and find out for sure if they're involved with somebody else because you may you may or may not know already. Um, and just whatever decision you make, make it make sure that it is an informed decision, okay? Make an informed decision. Don't just be like, oh, I guess I'll just wait around. You know, only only wait if you feel like you have a good reason to, and and vice versa. Um, don't just don't just go barreling into their life and and not know you know some of the circumstances what's going on. All right, group number four. Um, I think I'm gonna end it here. That is your reading. I hope that uh, it made sense to you. I hope it resonated with your situation. Um, if it did, feel free to leave me a comment. I love to read your comments, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. If you are from a previous group and you're still here, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate you guys so much, honestly. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, I do have a new camera slash mic on the way. It's supposed to get here tomorrow. So hopefully this will be the last video um, that looks like this. Because <laughs> I know the quality is not great. I know the sound quality is not great. Um, but anyway. And then I also have a, uh, a new tarot deck on the way. It's the Kawaii Tarot which I'm pretty excited about, and I also have a Lenormand Oracle deck on the way, which I've never used a Lenormand deck before, um, so I'm pretty excited about that, uh, but I did get one for my best friend for Christmas this year, and he really likes it, uh, so I'm really excited to get one, to get mine and start using it. So, <laughs> expect to see those decks in future readings, and, um, as always, I, I have uh, private readings available. You can go to the link to my Etsy store. It's going to be in the description box. I do uh, 15 minutes for $25 or 30 minutes for $40. You can ask um, you can ask whatever questions you like. Uh, they can be related to each other. They can be unrelated questions, whatever you want to know. Um, and the details on that is, you know in the listings on my Etsy store. And also, if you would like to make a donation to my channel, my PayPal link is also in the description box. So, you know, if you want to take a couple dollars my way, I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> um, Alright guys, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye!